three people on. What's up guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. Today, man, today was a great day. However, I, the only thing that I recorded was this truck. <laughs> and uh, we, we actually had, we had a really, a really busy day, a really good day. And, uh, you know, we ended it off with a, a great cookout with family and it, it was worth it. Now the boys are actually in the shower right now, getting all cleaned up, getting ready for bed. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, today w when I did have a chance, I was watching a TikTok, and this guy is a, is a, he's, he's a counselor, like motivational speaker as well. And he says, uh, he says something along the lines of, what are you instilling in your kids right now that is going to be a false hope to them later in life? And, uh, one of the things is, oh, hang on. All right, so we got that taken care of. <laughs> you know how it goes as a single parent and you got kids in the shower and, Dad, I think I got soap in my eyes. <laughs> Anyways. So what this guy is saying is, what would what are you instilling in your kids now that is false? That's going to be like a something they're going to seek, and it's not going to get them anywhere. And what he was mainly focusing on is that right now your kids look up to you, they listen to you, they they look for your approval, and I used to, uh, think so. That's all right. That's okay. We'll fix it. So, anyhow, <laughs> go get dressed in your room, you goober. <laughs> and so, what he what he was saying is that you may be setting your kids up to look for a narcissist, and that is not good. I've been there. And you don't want to be there. You don't want to be with a narcissist. You don't want to seek a narcissist. It's bad. They're only out for themselves. And they're going to turn everything and anything around on you. To make them better. And so, without going into that much. Um, he said, right now your kids are... In a way, they look up to that. And when they get older... So when they were to hit, you know, maybe 18, even my age now, 28, they might be stuck in this path of, I need to look for some somebody to guide me. I need to look for somebody to give me approval to, to uh, say, okay, this is the next thing we're going to do. But instead of doing that, what got me is this part is that, since my divorce and since honestly about a year a year and a half ago is when this stuff really hit me and instead of telling my boys that i'm proud of them i say are you proud of yourself and i still tell them i'm proud of them but i want them to be proud of themselves <laughs> sorry i was back here dancing <laughs> and so I'll ask him after they do something great, like with Riley. He was riding his bike with no training wheels, and I said, "Are you proud?" I said, "I'm proud of you, Bubba. Are you proud of yourself?" And he says, "Yes." That's what I want. That's that's what we got to do. And it's it's so hard to it it really is hard to think that way and change your brain into thinking I'm proud of you. To are you proud of yourself? But by doing that. I believe that I will set my boys up to be way, do way greater things than even I'm doing, than I've done. And you know what, who knows, maybe they'll right off the bat, they're gonna be like, dad, I got my first job and guess what? I left cause the guy was a jerk. <laughs> 
And I just don't like that. I don't like being bossed around. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being told what I can and can't do. Maybe this is the way that I can help inspire them to become their own business owners. What kind of business would you create, Bubba? Hmm. I would create a restaurant. A restaurant? With pizza oh. and cake. Pizza and cake? Hmm. A pizza cake? A cake that's a pizza? And with people. With people? Who have a band. They're in a band. Ooh, you'd have a band at your pizza joint? And they have, pic and they have costumes. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. See what I mean? So... So just think of ways that you can instill things that are good for your kids so that later in life, when Riley's looking back on this video, he's going to be like, wow, now I get what daddy was saying, huh? Whereas now he's like, what is he saying? He's such a goofball. <laughs> Look at that head shake, uh-huh. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think we're going to end off this video here. We're going to go get Adi and Cohen out of the shower now. And get you guys to bed. Yeet, yeet. yeet means live in the fullest. Live your life to the fullest. Yeet, yeet. This is my yee guy who knows and yeet. always asks what it means. Yep, yee right there. Yee yeet. Yeet. There's nothing on the back of this Show one. Show them a gun one with a flag. Ah, oh, it's dirty. Aw. It's getting washed. They'll see it. Next They'll video? see it. Maybe. Maybe. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. And if you guys have any other good suggestions for other parents, <gasps> Wait, and I'm not I talking know. just single parents, but if you do have just single parent advice, drop it down below. Don't be afraid to let us know. Oh, Share yeah. what you know with us. And, uh, you know, it might help. <sighs> might help somebody out. Or you can work at an arcade game where you, like, make the arcade games. You know when Ooh, you open it and uh -huh. you put the disc in and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, kind of like... Like a soda machine. You open Ooh, it and cool. you put sodas in it. And you put it. the sodas in it? Mm -hmm. Only the mm. people who work at the soda business do that. So if I bought a soda machine, could I do that? Yes. Yeah? Could I charge you for it? I think that's a good idea. Hmm... So don't forget, click that red subscribe button. Ring that bell? Yeah, ring Go that bell. Go comment below. Drop those comments down below. Let us and know. And I'm magic, so eat some Hershey's. Hashtag not sponsored. Have a great night. God bless you Hey, all. Hershey's said. <laughs> they don't sponsor us, Bubba. <laughs> Hershey's sponsor us. We Hershey. love the cookies and cream. Hershey's. Yes. This is like our favorite candy bar, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right.